Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Kayla. Um, so on my channel, I do vintage shopping, hauls, and decorate my house with me. Um, and today's video is a collective thrift haul over like the last two weeks. Um, I have a lot of goodies. And I have some exciting news for you guys who may be interested in purchasing some of the stuff that I find. Um, my husband and I have a little eBay shop. We've had it for years, but we're just now starting to use it again. Um, so I do have some things listed on there, and I'm going to be adding some more. I'm going to show you a couple of the new pieces I'm going to be adding in this video. Um, I will have the eBay shop linked in the description box in case you want to go shop. Um, and then I also posted these on my Instagram. It is um, Decor with K the same that it is here on YouTube. Um, so if you're interested in looking at any of that stuff, feel free to look at my Instagram or the eBay store. But, the fun part. So, most of this is for my guest room. I am still working on it. I have to get a bed frame for the bed. And then, once I get the bed frame, I think it's going to be pretty much done. Um, I just need to find maybe a rug, but I can find that later on. But I want to definitely have the bed set up before I do um, like a tour of that room. It is so beautiful, you guys. I'm just, oh, I'm so excited for it. I found the perfect dresser for that room. It is antique. It was in pristine condition on the outside. The drawers were pretty rough. They smelled really bad and I think it was like mouse droppings or something in it um but me and my mom we scrubbed them for like an entire day bleached them all of that cleaned it up really well and then I sealed them with a like a polycrylic and so far so good they're they're good they smell it doesn't smell bad it smells fine um and then I've got some vinyl paper covering them um I may end up eventually finding something to put on the underneath of the drawer, like maybe replacing the wood from that part. Um, I don't really know yet. But, so I have that. I found a mannequin that I've displayed my wedding dress on. Um, I found the cutest little antique pedestal table for a nightstand. And then I just recently found an antique vanity stool um, that I'm just going to use to display something on. I don't really know yet. But I'm excited to show you that. I cannot wait. That will be coming up in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Um, but follow me on Instagram if you don't, because I do post there more than I do here. Um, just because work and life, it gets busy sometimes. So, enough chatting. Let's get into this. So, we went to an estate sale. Um, it's been a minute. I think this was last weekend. Um, yeah, so I picked these up. I'm not really a big fan of the pictures on the inside. I mean, they're cute, they're not bad, but I think I'm going to change them out. And I got these to go in my guest room. They're just going to match my vibe so well. I'm so excited. And then I found this beautiful picture frame. I don't know where I'm putting it yet. But it is gorgeous, y'all. It may go in there also. Um, I'm not really sure. But I love it. I'm running out of room. I have to have that much to show you. Okay. And I found this one. I have the woman that matches it also, but it is currently hanging on the wall. I just checked it out to see if I liked it, and I do. And I forgot to grab it. But I have the matching farmer's wife. And these are also going to go probably in the guest room. I don't know yet. And then, so all of that is from the estate sale. Um, I also got these at the same estate sale. The set. I love these. My husband hates them. <laughs> but I think they're cute. I love them. They're Victorian. 
I have no idea how old these are. There's no markings on the bottom. It's just cloth. Maybe there's something below that. No. Nothing below it. So, if you know what brand these are, or what they're worth, or anything about them, please let me know. Okay. So, that's it for that estate sale. Um, we got an entire box full of stuff at that sale. There was like, I mean, the box was probably this, you know, maybe like two foot wide. And he only charged us like five bucks for the whole box. So this stuff I've literally paid change for. Um, yeah. And then let's move on to Goodwill. So I found this pretty little picture. Now this is for my kitchen. I love this pattern. I found a bunch of glasses like this um, about maybe a month ago. And I replaced the ones that we have in our cabinet with this pattern. Because I just love it. And there's something there's something about these vintage crystal glassware that it's timeless, you know. I paid $4 for this, which sucks, but not bad. Okay, and I also got this at Goodwill. I plan on putting a plant in here. I just thought this was beautiful. Tarnished. I paid a dollar. It's 99 cents. And also at Goodwill, I got this beautiful stain and craze oval. It does have a gold pattern, but I love it. I think it's gorgeous. I paid four dollars for this. Look at that! Look at how stained. She's a beauty. I'm not familiar with the stamp, so if any of you know what that is, I'm not even sure if it's iron stain. I mean, it feels like ironstone. It's, it's got to be ironstone. But it was four dollars. Okay. And the last piece from Goodwill was this little stained and crazed bowl. This is another one. I'm not familiar with the stamp. So if you know, let me know in a comment. Um, it's beautiful. I love it. So cute. We'll be getting out into my eBay. And then next up, I'm going to do some yard sale finds first. Um, we went to a ton today. I am actually wore out. <laughs> um, but we found so much stuff. I have a bunch of vintage women's scarves and gloves and doilies I mean all kinds of vintage some silk um you know little women's things but I have those in the washer right now because they smelled kind of you know like they'd been stored for a while so I put them in the washer we're gonna see what survives what makes it will go on eBay in a lot um but some of it I'm keeping because it's going to go with my guest room aesthetic. Um, so I don't know if you guys watch her, but I was really inspired with um, Danielle at Homemade Vintage. I was so inspired with her room makeover. I can't remember if it was like her guest room or her master bedroom. But she has all of these beautiful little antique vintage, um, just like little treasures. Like hats and brushes and all kinds of like the little treasures um it really inspired me for my guest room so that's kind of the vibe i'm going for um so if you don't watch her go check it out she collects similar stuff that i do um similar stuff that everybody who watches these kind of videos does um but she she's so friendly i love her channel Go check her out. Um, anywho, so your cell phones first. I got these terracotta planters. Uh, I think I paid like a dollar fifty for all of them because I've been needing some um, 
for my plants. They're outgrowing their little trays. So I needed to get more. So I got three of this size, and then I got one medium and one large. And there's only one little base, so. Love these. And I found this little dish at a yard sale. It's Buffalo China. I just thought it's cute. I don't know if it's missing a lid. Maybe it is. But I'm just, I'm going to be listing this on my eBay. I just think this will be super cute sitting on a book or something um, with like little treasures in it or nothing in it at all. I mean, it's, it's just really cute. At that same yard sale, I found this little brass duck. But my husband has taken it. <laughs> And I got these also. I have been looking for this set for so long. I love this set. Something about it, y'all. It is just so cute. And at the same yard sale, I got this little antique brass brush. And I got this little antique comb. And at the same yard sale, I got this little fascinator. I think these are cute. I am trying to find some of these for my guest room. But y'all, it is beautiful. I cannot wait to display these. I'm so excited. Um, and also got this one. This actually came in the box with all of the little scarves and things I told you about. I love these. I would just absolutely adore if I were born in the century that wore these because, y'all, I would be rocking this, okay? I want to rock it right now, but everyone would, you know, have something to say about it. And I got this little doily. And I got this brass swan. Okay, I know it's an ashtray, but we don't smoke, so I'm going to be using this for, like, little jewelry that I find, um, vintage jewelry. It's going to be so cute. Okay, so at that yard sale, we spent a total of $17, and I got, again, the whole basket full of scarves and all of that stuff, um, everything I just showed you. And I even got a furniture piece from there, which I will be showing you in the guest room reveal. Um, yeah, so definitely a score. A really good deal. And then at another yard sale today, y'all, I have wanted a milk pitcher forever. I have never seen one in person. I've not even seen these at an antique store, you know, marked up really high. This is the first for me. And the fact that it was at a yard sale. And the fact that it was stained. I mean, it had to come home with me. This was only five dollars. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, but this is going nowhere. This is staying with me. <laughs> Now for the Peddler's Mall. Um, I found tons of stuff there yesterday, but these books are my favorite. These, most of these are circa like 1830, I think. Um, look at it. It's so little. This one is. It's leather bound. And she wrote in it. She wrote her name. 1839 is when she wrote her name. This was a dollar. I couldn't believe it. But it's just this little book. I just, I couldn't, I was not leaving this. This is like the treasure of the treasures, y'all. Oh, it doesn't stop there. We got this one. It's a little bit bigger. But look at how beautiful. All the detail. 
Oh my god, it's just beautiful. Um, so this one, I don't know to be sketched out by it or what, but it had this old newspaper clipping inside the page, and it's an obituary. So I don't know if maybe that was the person who owned this book or they knew that person. Um, yeah. This one, 1892. Back of it. I love it. It's so beautiful. And now this one. So they wrote the price on the inside, but I don't understand it. Um, it says 037 and a half. And then below it, it says Perryville, Mercer County, which is, um, we went to the Harrodsburg, if you're local. Um, I found these at the Harrodsburg um, Rags to Riches Peddler's Mall. And this one was 1836. They signed their name. And they also stamped it with some really old stamps. I'm just I'm shook. It's beautiful. All the pages are stained. It's so pretty. I love this. 1836, guys. This is old. And I found this one. I wouldn't have normally picked it up because of the design on it. But it was also really old, so I didn't want to leave it. Um, it was a dollar as well, 1907. And this one. I think this is like alligator skin. I could be wrong, but it's definitely some kind of skin. And it is leather. I mean, it is beautiful. This one was $2. Um, so this one, they signed it 1891, so it was bought for someone as a gift, and copyright is 1880, but isn't that just beautiful? I love these, I mean they are stunning, but imagine this sitting on a shelf. I love it. So cute. And also at the Peddler's Mall, I found this antique masher. Pretty sure this was handmade. It's beautiful. I love this. Um, this will be going on eBay. Uh, I just think it's so cute. And I also found, I found two of these, but I have no idea where I put the other one. So I found this ironstone insulator. They were three a piece, three dollars a piece. They're beautiful and I just put these little flowers in it to um, sit on my shelf. I need to take the sticker off. And also at the Peddler's Mall, I got this vintage cheese crock. It is missing the, uh, the handle, but I thought this color would be so pretty with a lot of y'all's decor, um, you know, with the woods and the watts or anything, really. It's a little jar. You can use it. I love this. This is also going on eBay. And last but certainly not least, let's show you the beauty. Found this gorgeous ironstone chamber pot. It didn't come with the lid. Look at the detail. It's beautiful. It has some nicks to it. Uh, not very much though. But it is gorgeous. I love this. This with the plant inside of it. Beautiful. This is also going to be going on eBay. So one last thing. I kind of done a thing today. Um, so I know I have 
done several videos um, showing my new hutch that I got that I worked really hard on. Well, well, I sold it. I did. I found the most beautiful buffet slash dresser. I mean, you could use it for either one. But I found it at our local Peddler's Mall. And from the moment I seen it, I knew I had to have it. Because it matches my hutch. It has all of the ornate details on it. It's white on the bottom. The lady hand built the top base for it herself. She stained it, repainted it. I mean, she done a fabulous job and it is just beautiful. I love it. I will um, show you what that looks like next. But you guys, I just could not leave this up. I couldn't pass it up. I had to bring it home. Um, I do plan on finding either some shelves or something to hang above it. Or maybe I'll just get a picture and just decorate the base of it. But it, it's beautiful and I had to get it. I really hope you liked this video. And if you did and you made it to the end, subscribe if you haven't already. It is completely free and I would love to have you here. Um, give me a like if you did like the video. That really helps the videos be sent out to others so that they can see them. Um, share with your friends, you know, people who enjoy this kind of stuff too. Um, definitely share it, get it out there. And yeah, I just, I love having this little community. Um, so follow me on Instagram for some more. And I will have the eBay listed in the description box. Um, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.